Hello, welcome to The Word in a Flash. I'm Dr. Freddie B. Wilson. Today's subject is God shows his greatness through our faith. God is good no matter what we are going through. If you're married or in a long-term relationship, there will be disagreements. As a couple, even though you don't always agree, you should have each other's back. Friendship in marriage is very important. Never do anything that will weaken your friendship with your spouse. Life will throw some crazy things at you, and you won't always understand what's going on. Following God's will sometimes causes discomfort, let's face it. We as a couple experience discomfort being obedient to the Lord when my job reassigned me um, to Florida back in November 2013. My wife initially intended to come with me, but things didn't work out as planned, so we decided in order for her to keep her well-paying job and the girls to attend the same high school they were in, that I would initially come to Florida by myself, uh, at least initially. While I realized I was doing the right thing by being obedient and making the move, the devil started working on my family. He first started making problems between my wife and my daughters. Then he tried to mess up things between my wife and me. This all happened only after being gone for one week. I know the promise. Of, I knew the promise of God, and I had to clear my head. And I asked God to help me uh, with these problems and to help me fix these problems. I look forward to God showing me the real reason I went to Florida because I didn't understand what was going on at the time. I later discovered some positive professional reasons for moving to Florida and some personal ones as well. Another good thing was I prayed to find another good church in which to serve the Lord. I had a good pastor there in Atlanta and I wanted to be a part of another good church. Uh, in the Bible, God has instructed that we obey our spiritual leaders. This provides us um, to follow instructions for those persons ordained by God to lead his people to a life that follows God's word. Pastors, ministers, preachers, and other spiritual leaders should be seen only as God's messengers. To keep this in perspective, each person should have a personal relationship with God. Therefore, our spiritual leaders will serve only as guides and advisors instead of being our only connection to God. Uh, Hebrews 13 and 17 says, Obey your spiritual leaders and do what they say. Their work is to watch over your souls and they are accountable to God. Give them reason to do this with joy and not with sorrow. That would certainly uh, be uh, to your benefit. A good spiritual leader will encourage their followers or flock to get a personal relationship with God for themselves. The leader's job is to guide and provide support to the people under his or her leadership. They should lead people to discover and follow the word of God. We must be willing to submit ourselves to God. We must be accountable to God day by day and eventually at judgment. We must guard our thoughts and heart from lustful desires. We should always be willing to treat others with respect and kindness. Two things God expects all of us, love God and to love people. How can you say you love God but hate or do evil things to the people God allows in our lives. Matthew 12, 36 through 37 uh, says, And I tell you this, you must give an account on judgment day for every idle word you speak. The words you say will either quit you or condemn you. Having faith is what God demands of us. We must start our journey of obedience by first having faith in God. It's easy to say we are faithful we already have what we want or need. It is an entirely different thing to have faith that God will supply a want or a need that is nowhere in sight. God's blessings are available, uh, are available to all who are faithful. Romans 4 9 says, Now, is this blessing only for the Jews or is it also for uncircumcised Gentiles? Well, we have given saying that Abraham was counted as righteous by God because of his faith. When the world or your friends are watching you show your faith, be prepared to be ridiculed. Not everyone will understand your faith in God, and some will even say that you are crazy. That's a price we have to pay for our faith in God. You should not be taken aback about the things people say to you or about you uh, due to your faith. 1 Peter 4, 4 through 5 says, Of course, your former friends are surprised when you no longer plunge into the flood of wild and destructive things they do. 
so they slander you, they slander you. Be, uh, but remember that they would have to face God, who would judge everyone, both the living and the dead. We are free moral agents and should entirely depend upon our Creator for our existence. We are answerable to Him for our conduct. We owe Him our obedience and service. God has provided us His grace, so we are without excuse if we fail to obey God's will. Sometimes in doing God's will, things won't go as we thought. This can be dis disturbing, especially if you thought God led you to do those certain things. I don't understand about why God allowed this to happen, but I can um, sometimes be, uh, but it can be sometimes be a part of a test to see if you're willing to do God's will. You should never doubt what God said he would do. Keep your faith in God and he will show you his greatness. Have a blessed day.